Hey everybody, Modern Rider 06, welcome back to more Sonic 1. Last episode, we just finished off the Starlight Zone, and now we're at the second last of the stage, which is the Scrap Brain Zone, located at Dr. Eggman's base. So, what we're gonna do now is head this way right here, click this switch, and wait for this to come back here. We go through here, I'm gonna take this up here. It requires very time just because. Obviously this. There we go. There we go. Go over these guys. I don't feel like wanting to take them down or anything. Come down here. We have these ring monitors right here. And we have these guys from the Starlight Zone that are back in this stage too. But they're not a problem here. There we go. A shield. Avoid that. That shoots sparks. And, uh, well, there goes that shield. Or these fires that are coming out of those pillars right there. I'm surprised I didn't get hit right there. Wow. Oh, sure, that was, that was the platform up there. Okay, uh, oh, this is Short. Okay. Well, I guess I just showed you guys what would happen if you fall down right there. This thing is taking maybe some time of patience to actually get these things to spawn. Alright. I don't don't ever just use them as platforms. Just jump over them. It's as simple as that. But that just do that. If we jump because those things will fly off from you. Give me a time to square at right. Nope. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, there we are. Well, at least I get another chance at this. Alright, there we go. Why did that thing not spawn? This time. There we go. Right, this time, let's do this correctly. I'm still too nervous to do it. Ah, come on! Nope, not falling for it this time. I didn't fall for it, yet I failed to make that platform right. Here we go. This. I don't get why that thing did not spawn the last time. Jump will give you a little bit of boost speed right there. there go. Sure, done that. Take out these little gummy bear guys. <laughs> I just like calling them gummy bear guys because I just really don't care enough to know their names. It's like they do look like gummy bears. They look like those purple type of gummy bears, even though they don't sell any of those types. That's there we go, act one is completed. It took two tries. But we did it. Now act two. I'm gonna hope. No, I'm gonna hope this is not gonna be that bad. Okay. What you can do? Just spin attack on this, and you will go so fast that you can actually use that to actually launch yourself so high enough. But I failed that button now. But I think it's more simple to just run up here because it's that simple. Like, you'll just. Ha! Nice try! It's more simple to do it that way. Wow! I'm surprised I did not get hit right there. Gotcha! Probably could use this. I mean, it's a free shield. Why wouldn't you want to grab it? That. 
careful with these pistons, they'll crush you. Just jump to give yourself a little bit of boost speed and I can hit there again. I hate these mechanics here. Oh, that guy. Thankfully I was a little bit patient enough to wait for that. Saws are coming up and down right here. One conveyor goes fast, the other one goes behind. backwards. Not fall for that. And one's gonna come right, pin right behind you that quickly, just run up to the ledge here and you'll be fine. Okay, over here. And here we are. Get that guy out. Those things blow off off screen, but you'll be safe from them. Carefully go through here. Still get hit after there. There's always has to be three here. But that's the end of the stage. Finally. Now we'll start Act 3. But first, here is Eggman behind this. This licorice type of, of shield. No! Start bringing at 3 and guess what guys? It's Labyrinth Zone, but goth. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to get through this easily. So, quickly go down here, click the switch, and we're gonna jump into this purple Kool-Aid water. Yeah, that's a good idea, so I swim in Kool-Aid water. Now, these air bubbles that spawn here, I feel like they spawn like in a fairly instant because there are times that when you're just about to drown, these things can just spawn the bubbles out when you just, at the exact moment you're actually gonna need it. Great, I ended up getting, I ended up getting launched right down here. That was the, that up there was gonna be the way that I was gonna end the stage very fast, but that stupid. The penguin guy actually just made me lose that chance. Like, see, how, see how long that took for that airboat to come out? But anyway, it's right here. We just go. That's the drowning music, you'll probably have heard it so many times from a certain fan game that I'm not going to mention because I just don't feel like mentioning it. Yeah, like I said, that, I feel like that interval just takes that long to spawn, but here we go, end of stage. Now we reach the final area, which is called Final Zone. This is the shorter stage in the game, it just only features the final boss in which there are no rings anywhere to be found around here, and so that means get one, hit once, death. The objective is to hit the pistons that Eggman is in, because that's where you, that's how you're going to be able to damage him in this fight. It requires 8 hits, and he's going to try using those pistons to crush you, and obviously to crush you it's death. I talked to you guys about something that a little bit trivia as what happened in the Dolphin. Like, originally this Scrap Grizzle was originally going to be called the Clockwork Zone, I believe, and the Fossil was not meant to actually be its own stage. It was actually meant to be the third. It was, it was actually meant to be the final area for like, Act 3. It was just the real, the real boss fight for like, Act 3 of the Scrap Grizzle. Maybe they should decide to do it more easier, or they don't want to have people go through the whole nightmare with the labyrinth zone again. But as I showed, if you just took the route I took, you could just change that space effortlessly without even having any issue. Anyway, that's it. Now, you run through here, and you have the option to either let Eggman go or hit his Eggmobile to instead of crushing down to the pit below. If you manage to get all six of the Chaos Emeralds, you get this. Now that we saved South Island and brought peace to it, 
These bottle flowers bloom. And that is Sonic 1. It's basically... This was a good, good way to test my first time doing a Let's Play, and I enjoyed doing this. It's a way to kick off what I want to do. I'm hoping like this could be a, a viable source to like be able to do this man my creativity and wanted to like do stuff like this uh, for the rest of my life. And thanks to me, inspirations, uh, certain certain ones out there like big YouTubers. I won't go and mention them late, mention them now, but I would rather mention them the more I do this. And hope with all your support, I can hope I can, can I can actually make this into a best best course of career for myself. But I really enjoy doing this all the time. Like this game is basically one of my favorite ones in the classic Sonic era. I'd say it's basically my favorite out of all of them. So. I guess I don't know what else to say, so I guess I'll just leave the credits up to now. And since this was the best ending we ever got, the only difference is that if you got the best ending, you get this where Eggman is just stomping on that end sign trying to squish it, but it's not not ever gonna work. But if you get if you didn't collect all the six chaos emeralds, then Eggman will just laugh at you as he's holding up the rings you didn't collect. And it, instead of the end sign, it just says try again. But anyway, that's the that's my first project of doing a, a first let's play. I will meet you guys back for a new project I'm going to be working on later on. So this is Monorado 6 and I'll catch you guys later.